Right, let's have a look at this then. So, this has been sent in by a customer. He's got a love note attached to it, as someone said in the chat. Uh, PS5 was wall mounted and fell around 5 to 6 feet. Since the fall, the console has turned on but only shows a blue flashing light. Took it to a local technician who said he, he cleared up spilt liquid metal but the blue pulsing light still persists. The disc tray is broke but due to cost we are okay with purchasing digital games and leaving the disc tray broken. This is used as a games console for young members of the public who struggle. Alright. Thank you dude, I really appreciate that. Thank you for being something. Yeah, so, quite interesting. Uh, it's been dropped from quite the height. Raven4757 just resubscribed for 26 months. 27 months on YouTube <laughs> and 26 on Twitch. Wow. Damn, that is a long time for support, mate. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Genuinely. I really do. Um, I've actually started pushing every video that I release on YouTube now with... Small exceptions to a couple. I'm basically just pushing them all out to Patreon first. Uh, well, not just Patreon. If you're a subscriber on Twitch, uh, like if you, if you, even if you got an Amazon Prime subscription, it doesn't make a difference to me because I still earn the same money. Um, thank you, Rexy, by the way. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, um, doesn't make, doesn't make a difference how you how you support me. So whether it's on Patreon, whether it's on uh, Twitch, or whether it's on YouTube. If you support me in any way, you can get early access to the videos. you just got to go on to Discord. If you're on YouTube and Patreon, just contact one of the mods or contact me um, and we'll verify it and then give you the privileges to access the supporters-only chat on Discord where you can see the early access members, uh, the early access videos. If you're on Twitch, you can just link your Twitch account to Discord and it'll work that way. So, yeah, they're all going out as uh, early access in future. Why well, Warmount to PS5? I really don't know. I really don't know at all. Two two indeed. Thank you everyone. I really appreciate it. Uh right, yeah, so lung pulsing blood by the look of it, but the question is, is it a lung pulsing blood or is it just an old display and it's stuck in safe mode? That's the question. That's what we've got to try and find out. And we'll find that out by using a HDMI tester. Right, it's a bit loose, but I don't think that's the reason. Okay. Mm, that's not good. Right, so we're getting power to HDMI, but it's not obviously not enabling the uh, output. Okay, we've got a screw missing there as well. Alright, well, this could be an interesting one. So what did this say about? This is used as a games console for young members of the public who struggle. Right, well, thanks for playing on my heartstrings. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Better getting it all fully up and running again. This is probably not going to end well. Especially with how I've just seen that screw. Because that screw there is mangled for a start. So this probably isn't going to end well, I'm going to be honest. Um, it's probably going to be a no fix, but... We'll see what we can do. There's a screw there and it bent. To be honest, it ain't looking promising. Um, to say that that screw there is bent, you can't really see it too well, but I'm sure you can just about make it out. You see it? Yeah, it's not promising, is it? But what we can do is we can connect up UART and see if we get any error messages. Well, I'm actually going to turn it off because I need to disconnect the disk drive. That screw shouldn't be in there. And we've also got piece of plastic there look stuck inside that dish drive yeah this ain't looking good pop <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ain't looking good at all, is it? Uh, Alright, so let's try safe mode like Stealth Fix said because if it puts me into safe mode, it could be just that it's got no display. No, that's not going to go into safe mode. No, that's going to shut down. It took too long. Yeah, it took too long. Okay. Right, so let's connect up UART then. I will do a guide on this eventually. On connecting up UART. I'll do a guide and I'll uh, show everyone how to do it properly. Eventually. I hope it's not I, I hope it's not 0140. <laughs> uh, Steel fix. That's RAM, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. I mean, it's not the end of the world if it is, but... I'd rather it not be. I'd rather it be something a bit more simple. How's it going, Chronic? What, it just be the HDMI? No, it's definitely not booting up. Thank you, Raj. Thanks, Roger. Appreciate it, mate. Um, we have right. So I've done that. So as I've got all of the errors logged, and we have. O one four though, damn it. So if we go to uartcode.com mm, hmm. GDDR six and APU no response. Hmm. No results for that one. What are these errors? Looks like we've never come across them. Hang on a minute. Damn it, I'm searching the wrong ones. I'm an idiot. Copying the wrong code. Okay, still not come across it. That's unexpected pair outage, so that's fine. Pretty sure that's uh, a RAM issue. Oh no, IPU not responding. Um, 140. What was that one again? No response from APU. Yeah, this could need reballing. It could need an APU reball. Um, right, okay. Let's just clear the codes. Right. Confirmation. All right, now give me some new error codes. Give me some up to date error codes. Eight double oh nine. Unexpected power. Hmm. I just say unexpected peri peri outage. It's not giving me any actual issues now. Any actual uh, error logs. Well, that sucks a little bit. Uh, okay, let's just have a look at the board. Right, okay, well, the screws are missing out the back as well, so that's nice, isn't it? What the hell? Where's the liquid? Oh, God. What have I done? Jesus Christ, good Lord. It's no wonder it don't fucking work. What the hell do they call that? Okay, for a start, that's going to have to come off because, well, we could have liquid metal under there, so. 
That can, get, that can stay there. Oh, God. All right. Okay. It's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, that's dead. It's an Ophix. It's an Ophix. Immediately. It's dead, Jim. Yeah, we have a cracked die. We don't just have a cracked die, we have a hole in the die. Like, as in a full hole in the silicon. You know, what the funny thing is, I've had one of these before where it's been cracked and it actually still turned on and worked. So I'm going to clean out the liquid metal anyway. Look at how much liquid metal was inside there. See that blob? And there's still more. <laughs> Indeed they did. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that's coming back. Yeah, it's from the fall. Like the, the other technician hasn't done this. That's from the fall. Like guaranteed, that's from the fall. There's no coming back from that. Uh, I will offer the customer, because the customer said they're fine with the digital board, right? So I'll offer the customer a digital edition board, put it inside a digital edition housing, and uh, kind of call it good, I suppose. I'm doing a part exchange. Can't remember what I quoted them for this, but I'll obviously have to work something out. Just on the sheer off chance, I'm going to try it now. I've cleaned that um, liquid metal out. But it's not going to work. It's no wonder we're getting an APU not responding code. They flow it wouldn't fix it, mate. The um, APU is physically damaged. It's physically cracked. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm not going to put it back together because I don't know what they want to do with it. If they do end up part exchanging it, I'll just literally give them a, a digital edition PS5 um, and just throw this in my spares. So I'm not going to reassemble this tonight. Alright, on to the next one. <laughs>